Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and yes, the end of September is fast approaching, so you all know what time it is, right? Yeah, it's time for the October PlayStation Plus update. Now, I have the full list of games right here in front of me, so I'm going to get stuck into it in this video, but before I do, please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. With all that said, let's get into it. So, I definitely think the headline game this month is Friday the 13th, the game, on PS4. Now, this has gone through some kind of contractual problems behind the scenes, uh, but it's a really rock-solid asymmetrical multiplayer game, and if you liked Dead by Daylight earlier in the year, then I think you'll really like this. Uh, it's joined by Roll7's futuristic multiplayer title Laser League, which frankly really needed the player base injection that PS Plus provides earlier in its life cycle, but hopefully this giveaway is going to help it to garner a bit of good community, um, better late than never after all. Elsewhere on the PS4 you're getting three more games, so you're going to get Escher-esque puzzler The Bridge, a platforming shooter called Rocket Birds 2, and a visual novel named 2064 Read Only Memories, which is actually quite an intriguing little game, it's well worth checking that out if you haven't already. Now all of these three games that I've just mentioned will be playable on the PS Vita, and you can actually play the bridge on the PS3 as well. So finally, you're going to get a game called Master Reboot on the PS3, which is a kind of forgettable sci-fi puzzler. And that's kind of your lot this month. Now it is worth pointing out that bonus games Here They Lie and Knowledge is Power are still available if you're a PS Plus subscriber, so make sure you grab them before they do expire. And be sure to let me know what you think of this lineup in the comment section below. Are you going to download anything? Which one are you going to play first? It's not the greatest month for PS Plus, but it has been a good year overall. So I think we can forgive a kind of slow October, especially with the likes of Call of Duty and Red Dead Redemption coming out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. With all that said, thank you so much for watching.